Welcome to the tranquil allure of Canada, where pristine landscapes and vibrant communities intertwine harmoniously. Embark on a journey to the rural splendor of Nova Scotia's Annapolis Valley, nestled in the heart of the Maritimes. With a population of around 50,000 residents, this bucolic haven boasts an economy rooted in agriculture, viticulture, and ecotourism. Explore verdant vineyards, sample succulent produce, and immerse yourself in the rhythms of rural life. To master English or French pronunciation, dedication and persistence are paramount. Practice diligently, repeat fervently, and watch as fluency blossoms like the blossoms of spring in this idyllic Canadian countryside. Embrace the chance to study now as your success solely depends on you. Seize the opportunity, and let your determination and effort pave the path to knowledge and greatness. Remember, do the things to yourself because nobody else will. Title The Ultimate Guide to Learning English Grammar and Adverbs Chapter 1 Getting started with English learning Welcome, language enthusiasts, to the exhilarating journey of mastering English grammar and adverbs. Whether you're a novice or a seasoned learner, embarking on this linguistic quest will surely ignite your passion for language. But before we dive into the intricacies of grammar, let's lay the groundwork for effective learning. 1. Embrace the language. Dive headfirst into the ocean of English language and culture. Immerse yourself in English movies, music, books, and conversations. The more exposure you get, the faster you'll grasp the nuances of the language. 2. Set clear goals. Define your objectives and aspirations for learning English. Whether you aim to ace exams, communicate fluently, or simply enjoy English literature, having clear goals will keep you motivated throughout your learning journey. 3. Create a learning routine. Consistency is key to language acquisition. Design a daily or weekly learning schedule that fits your lifestyle. Allocate specific time slots for grammar study, vocabulary building, speaking practice, and listening exercises. 4. Stay curious. Approach English learning with a curious mindset. Ask questions, explore new topics, and seek out opportunities to expand your knowledge. Curiosity fuels learning and keeps boredom at bay. Chapter 2. Mastering English Grammar Now That We've Laid a Solid Foundation Let's delve into the captivating realm of English grammar. Brace yourselves for a rollercoaster ride of rules, exceptions, and occasional grammatical twists. 1. Understand the basics. Start with the building blocks of grammar parts of speech, sentence structure, and punctuation. Familiarize yourself with nouns, verbs, adjectives, and prepositions before venturing into more complex grammatical concepts. 2. Learn through examples. Rather than memorizing rules in isolation, learn grammar through real-life examples. Analyze sentences from literature, articles, and everyday conversations to understand how grammar functions in context. 3. Practice, practice, practice. Grammar mastery comes through practice not perfection. Dedicate time to solving grammar exercises, quizzes, and worksheets. Challenge yourself with progressively difficult tasks to sharpen your grammar skills. 4. Seek feedback. Don't shy away from feedback. It's your best friend in the journey of grammar mastery. Join language forums, attend language meetups, or enlist the help of a tutor to receive constructive criticism on your grammar usage. 5. Embrace mistakes. Mistakes are inevitable in language learning, and that's perfectly okay. Embrace your errors as opportunities for growth. Analyze your mistakes, learn from them, and strive to improve with each iteration. Chapter 3. Exploring Adverbs in Depth Adverbs The unsung heroes of language add flair, precision, and nuance to our expressions. Let's embark on a fascinating exploration of adverbs and uncover their hidden powers. 1. What are adverbs? Adverbs are versatile words that modify verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. They answer questions such as how, when, where, and to what extent. Examples include quickly, slowly, beautifully, and extremely. 2. Types of adverbs. Adverbs come in various forms, 
each serving a specific purpose in communication. Adverbs of manner. Describe how an action is performed, e.g., she sings beautifully. Adverbs of time. Indicate when an action occurs, e.g., they arrived early. Adverbs of place. Specify where an action takes place, e.g., he looked everywhere. Adverbs of frequency. Express how often an action happens, e.g., they often go hiking. Adverbs of degree. Modify the intensity or extent of an action, e.g., it's extremely hot. 3. Position of adverbs. Adverbs can appear in different positions within a sentence, depending on their function. Mid-position. Adverbs usually come after the subject and before the main verb, e.g., she always speaks confidently. Initial position. Adverbs can begin a sentence for emphasis or transition, e.g., suddenly, the lights went out. End position. Adverbs often end a sentence, especially in informal speech, e.g., he sings beautifully. 4. Adverbial phrases and clauses. In addition to single word adverbs, adverbial phrases and clauses also modify verbs, adjectives, or adverbs. These groups of words function as adverbs in a sentence, providing additional information or context. 5. Practice examples. Adverb of manner. She danced gracefully at the ball. Adverb of time. They will arrive early for the meeting. Adverb of place. He searched everywhere for his lost keys. Adverb of frequency. They frequently travel to exotic destinations. Adverb of degree. It's incredibly cold outside today. Chapter 4. Applying your skills in real life. Congratulations, language aficionados. You've now acquired a solid understanding of English grammar and adverbs. But the journey doesn't end here. It's time to put your newfound knowledge into action. 1. Engage in conversations. Strike up conversations with native speakers or fellow learners to practice your grammar and adverb usage in real life scenarios. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, it's all part of the learning process. 2. Write regularly. Keep a journal blog, or diary to hone your writing skills. Experiment with different sentence structures, grammar rules, and adverb placements. The more you write, the more confident you'll become in expressing yourself in English. 3. Listen actively. Tune into English podcasts, radio programs, or audiobooks to improve your listening comprehension. Pay attention to how native speakers use grammar and adverbs in natural conversation, and mimic their intonation and rhythm. 4. Read widely. Immerse yourself in English literature, newspapers, magazines, and online articles. Pay close attention to grammar usage, sentence construction, and adverb placement. Take note of new vocabulary and idiomatic expressions along the way. 5. Stay motivated. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Celebrate your progress. Set new goals and stay motivated even when the going gets tough. Remember, every step you take brings you closer to fluency. Now that we've explored the intricacies of English grammar and adverbs, let's embark on a new adventure the enchanting world of French language and culture. Are you ready to expand your linguistic horizons? Allures, Alan's why. So, let's go. Title, Mastering Adverbs, Exercise for Language Enthusiasts Exercise, Identify the adverb in the following sentence, She sings beautifully, A, she B, sings C, beautifully D, none of the above instructions, choose the correct answer by selecting the letter corresponding to the adverb in the given sentence, remember, an adverb is a word that modifies a verb, adjective, or another adverb, providing information about how, when, where, or to what extent the action or quality is performed. Answer. C. Beautifully explanation. In the sentence she sings beautifully, the word beautifully modifies the verb sings by describing how she sings. Therefore, beautifully is the adverb in the sentence. Sponsor message. Our sponsor, Canada Smart Mind School, offers affordable daily courses in English, French, and job searching to help you enhance your language skills and career prospects. For just 20 cents day, you can access flexible and comprehensive courses tailored to fit your lifestyle. Don't miss out on this opportunity to invest in your future. We encourage you to share your thoughts and comments on this exercise. If you found it helpful, 
be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. Remember, success in language learning and job searching requires dedication and effort. Don't wait for a miracle. Start taking action today. Find links to Canada Smart Mind School below the video to learn more about our courses and start your journey toward language fluency and professional growth.